All right, it's John McLaughlin. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about live good and um, why you should never quit live good. OK, because it can be to your advantage when some people do. Um, I joined live good back in February of 2023, which when I look back, it seemed like decades ago, um, even though it's just like it just over a year, but just over a year. And I built a team of cracking on for 700 people. Um, obviously, as time goes by, you do get churn. OK, you do get people that like to start an online business and for whatever reason, they decide it's not for them. And I'll tell you one of the things about churn and one of the things about becoming an online business owner is people will quit. And generally, within this business model, within network marketing, the average the average person will last about three months. OK, what I found with LiveGood and what a, a lot of other top affiliates have found with LiveGood is that they're lasting a bit longer. OK, because of the business model, because it's low cost, because there are so many benefits uh, aimed towards the actual affiliate or the distributor in LiveGood compared with many other network marketing uh, products and systems where really the, the benefit is with the product owner. LiveGood has got a lot of benefits. But what I found is every month we get re uh, matching bonuses. OK, and what I've what I discovered is my matching bonuses were going up. And over the last couple of months, I've had a few health issues. I ended up with um, a blood clot in my lung, which was following. I do a lot of karate. I don't know if you can see the, the things in the background, the picture in the background. A few years ago, I was doing some press ups with um, a a a, a lot of students at a club. I was helping out at a club and I was doing some press ups and um, I do these press ups where you do press ups. OK, and you go down and you hold it off the floor. OK, to really build up the strength in the upper in the upper um, the upper arms and the upper body. And then what I do, I push it up every so often. So a little bit, a little bit for five. OK, and then back down for five. So I'm looking at all the students thinking, well, I'm not going to be the last one to, 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 to fall on the floor. So I'm going to wait until everyone's collapsed on the floor. Then I'm going to push back up. So I did these press ups. I went down and I held it for about probably five minutes like on a plank, but just on your knuckles in press up position. And then once everybody else had, had fallen on the floor, I pushed up. And because I'd pushed up and put so much pressure in my body, um, I, I burst what they call a subclavian vein in a couple of places. It was, it was nine years ago. And really, um, this it's a, it was a pulmonary embolism I had in my lung. And I suspect it had been there for quite some time because um, I was always coughing. OK, so I'd take some time off. And even though I hate taking time off, I had to take some time off. And um, when you're in, when you're self-employed, let's say, I mean, I used to work on the tools. I used to be uh, in construction. I still do a little bit of construction just to keep my hand in to see if I can still do it. And um, it's awful when you cannot work, and uh, it's you feel so out of control. And um, that's kind of how I felt with my online business. I thought, you know, I've built this team up for seven hundred people. Now uh, it seems like people aren't interested. And even though you tell people, okay, it's because I'm ill. OK, people really they don't care. OK, they go, well, you're not around, so I'm just going to quit. OK, so you end up with um, people who who leave the organization. And that that is what was happening. OK, I, I would see people. I would see the, the emails coming in saying you, you're about to lose your matching bonus on this person. But what I found is that the income kept going up and up and up and up and and quite substantially up. And I'm thinking, well, is this wrong? Am I reading this wrong? Am I in my eyes not <laughs> seeing what's happening? And what happens is, is because of the way the business model is structured within LiveGood, as soon as someone quits, OK, it's not a case of losing the volume. The 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 structure moves up. And you benefit from those people. OK, so whereas the person who quit would have benefited, and they 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 quit for whatever reason. I mean, crikey, you know the the, the monthly recurring um, costs for LiveGood is nine ninety five. It's nine dollars a month. So why anybody would ever quit is beyond me. Um, I I just renew every single year. Okay, and I just make sure that I get those commissions every year. Ninety nine ninety five, less than a hundred dollars 
to st <laughs> to stay in business um, is is just absolutely nonsense. It really is when you when you consider how expensive it is normally to trade as a normal trader or an online business owner. Live good is so low, and yet the the, the potential rewards are so high. But everyone was moving up. So let me show you this. If I show you my team, okay, I'm going to blank some of these out because I don't want to show all the names. Okay, but I, I, I came onto this and I thought, ah, oh, that's why. That's why my, my monthly uh, matching bonuses have gone up quite substantially because whereas before um, all these people on this side of the of the matrix were were in the way and I had one or two spillover and that's one of the things about LiveGod is that they give spillover and when I first joined the business um, I was kind of interested in spillover then I realized okay well I may or may not get spillover from my upline so I'm not even going to bother looking I don't really care about you know spillover it's up to me to build my organization and that's really it and if I get some spillover then it's a bonus and I think that's really the way you want to look at spillover but I've kind of got spillover in reverse I remember I got one person on the first the first the first ever cutoff I got one person a spillover and that was it I'd never really bothered looking since so you so the the organization builds and builds and builds and builds and builds for thousands and thousands of people as as what we've done as people quit then that organization gets moved up and you get more and more and more and more commissions as those people quit and and that's what's happened so here you know this is me as gold okay i've got someone in my organization now who's platinum um who has personally enrolled about 350 people um, and the list goes on, and this has happened to many other people um, who've who've kept in the business. They've kept on promoting. I mean, you don't even have to promote. They've just kept in the business. They've just kept their recurring income going, and they they ended up where they've got hundreds of people in the organisation because they just didn't quit. Okay, and what I would say to you is that if you're in Live Good now. And if you're in an organization that is going places, um, in fact, if you're in, if you're in live good full stop, just don't quit. Just don't quit. Because you're going to be one of those people that stays in and then suddenly you get the notification to say um, you've, you've received funds and you open the email and you look at it and you look at it again and you go, oh, I think there's been some mistake because this is way too much because I've done nothing <laughs> to promote it all right and that's what happens and we always said right from the start of live good is the people who get in at the beginning are the people who who benefit okay and I know some people who have got in and they're really excited and they want to see results and three months goes by, six months goes by, a year goes by, and they don't always see the results, so they pull the plug. And that is a massive, massive mistake. Okay, never do that because, as you know, live good is some is really going places. It's a business model that people want and I would say need. Um, in addition to that, you just never know what's going to happen. Okay, you secure your position in the matrix. And it's not a it's not a marketing gimmick, okay. One thing I I always thought when I first when I first joined LiveGood, like many other people, it was a new business model. I didn't really understand it completely, so I thought, okay, it's it's my responsibility to learn the business model and then go and teach it. But initially, I thought the whole spillover thing was a massive gimmick. You can get spillover, you can um, earn commissions by just staying in the business okay and I thought okay it sounds nice and I looked at it I thought yeah mathematically it's possible but who is getting spillover and I wasn't really bothered about that okay but now you know going what are we on February March April 14 months afterwards the pennies now dropping hang on a minute this is becoming seriously powerful and what we've got in place is real passive income Okay, so you know if you're in live good right now, and maybe you're not getting the results that you want, just remember that you're only shelling out ten dollars a month. You're saving money on your products, and you never know. 
you never know who is going to enter into your organization and it only takes one person it takes one leader okay what happens if you get a leader below you and suddenly they enroll 10,000 people and you get a matching bonus on all those people or maybe you look back in in two or three years and you think damn I made a mistake look at all those people and <laughs> live good now and maybe I should have uh, stayed in so whatever you do never quit and uh, that really is the message for today and uh, you know the, the way that I would say if you're in live good right now there are a number of different ways you can promote your business and one of the things that I'm doing right now is an affiliate marketing course and you can apply the principles I teach in this course to promote anything okay and in fact I'm going to promote live good using what I teach in this course using video and using short video okay because it is seriously powerful and it does work so that's what I'm going to be doing and you know what is the best way to promote live good just get on a video and just start talking and ta start talking about your own experiences and this is what I this is what I said when I first started uh, promoting live good is get on first of all it's a good product it's an amazing product they have amazing products the business plan everything is top-notch and has continued to be the top notch really is okay everything is is in line with there's, there's been nothing that I can say that has gone okay well that could have been improved or maybe that should be better I mean obviously th there were some initial issues with warehousing and stuff because it's over in the US where in in Europe but that's been addressed and you know the, the best way to promote it is to get on and just share your experiences share your your journey tell people what you've been doing and for most people that seems like the worst ever thing because I know a lot of people who are who are new to business think they've got nothing of value to share or they're thinking who would be interested in listening to little old me okay harp on about live good it just sounds like I'm just trying to trying to get people in for business you know roll up roll up look what I've got to share um, but if you're yourself, if you tell people as it is, okay, if you've just started in your business, then you tell people, look, I've just started in my business, but this is why I got involved, okay, and the way I see it is that there's a door, okay, and many people are staring at the door, wondering what's on the other side of the door, okay, now if you're already in your business, you've already gone through that door, okay, so you have things of value to share with your audience and with your potential audience, and let me tell you, it works every single time. But the, the main thing, if you're going to promote Live Good, if you're going to promote this, any business for that matter, is just be yourself. And find your own voice. And find the certain things that brand you. Okay, What do you stand for? What are your values? And um, it'll work. But the, the thing is, what I see every single day is people... You, you have the majority of people who who will do that and they go, okay, I'm going to do that. And they'll do it for a bit and they get discouraged because pretty much they're focusing, in, focusing on the results. Okay. Now, what you're going to be focusing on is increasing your skills, getting better, getting better at talking to an audience or at least talking to a little camera. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to a little camera. All right. And some people, it seems a bit weird. Talking to a camera, it seems weird. All I can do is I can just hear my own voice. And I'm asking questions, I'm not getting anything back. This is weird, okay? Yeah, it is weird to, when you first start doing it. Everything's weird when you first start doing it. But you get used to it and you get better. So constantly think of how you can improve your skills. How you can constantly improve your copywriting skills and writing emails and the delivery of your videos and what you say in your videos. Your introductions, your calls to action, all that sort of thing. Everything flows. Uh, and eventually it will flow and it will flow eventually so it sounds natural because you are being yourself on camera so just do that okay but what it just brings me back to is that a lot of people got very excited with live good okay because it was new because it was the business model that was delivering it was a different business model and also of the potential spillover that people would get and um as always, people have a, people people's attention spans 
and quite short. And I don't mean that in a patronizing way because one thing I was talking about in, a, in an earlier video today is the way that we're wired. Humans, humans are wired for survival. Always have been, always will be, you know, primitive, basic survival. Even though we're now in 2024, 2025, and, you know, we're supposed to be civilized. <laughs> Use that term very, very loosely. Um, but, you know, we start an online business, and if we don't get results, our brain says, if we don't get results, we're going to starve. Okay, it's like chasing a chicken. All right, how long are you going to chase a chicken before you go? You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to survive. I try and chase a chicken. I've got to find a different way to eat today. Okay, I'm going to go and pick berries. And this is why people go from one opportunity to the next to the next. Okay, and some people will call it in you know the the, the shiny object syndrome. Oh yeah, he's off to doing something else, and now he's doing something else, and now he's doing this, and it's not. It's, be, it's not your fault, it's because the way we're wired. And um, that wiring usually usually takes, on average, from stats, 2.8 months to, to try something, to, to not make it successful and move on to something else that is equally unsuccessful. Because it's not about the opportunity. It's not about the business model, it is a lot of the time, but it's about you as an individual. And if you don't master the skills of being able to catch the chicken, then you're gonna go from one thing to the next to the next and you're gonna get the same results, okay? So this is why Live Good is, is such a powerful thing because it's so simple, okay? You know, it's so simple. You do a quick video, you give people a call to action, you give people a link and they sign up for a free tour. That's it, okay? That is, that is the simplest method to promote Live Good. Then we can go into other things like doing your own funnels, okay? And starting to brand yourself, which, you know, you don't need to do initially but for the long term it makes more sense because then you are using the skills that you're learning as an online business owner to further your career and that's what you want to be doing okay um, anyway I hope this video has helped because you know there are so many people out there right now who are mixed about live good you know as I said when when live good first came out everyone's excited then suddenly reality hits in that, okay, it is a business and I do need to put effort in. And, uh, oh, look, there's another opportunity on the horizon. Let's go and do that, okay? And this is because, again, we're wired for survival. So all I'm saying in this video is if you're in Live Good, make it work, okay? Because if you're not able to make Live Good work, Whatever you do in business, you're always going to get the same result. Okay. And, you know, sometimes we can move on to something else. And by default, sometimes we can make it work because we've improved our skills along the way. But what I will say about LiveGood is that it's so low cost. I mean, I, I promote different things online. Okay. I promote, well, LiveGood is a third of my next most expensive product okay it's a third cheaper and yet it's 10 times more profitable <laughs> all right yes it takes some effort and yes it takes some some doing but you know what were you doing three years ago what what were you involved with three years ago probably doing the same career that you're doing now and live good has been around just over a year so if you think in three years time I'm not saying anything's going to take three years, but as a bit of perspective, if you if you dig into doing something as simple as live good, you're going to learn the skills that you can apply in many other things. Okay, live good is low, incorporates low and high ticket. Okay, so it's low ticket until you get to diamond, and then when you go to diamond, it kind of leapfrogs to a high ticket, ten ten thousand a month minimum at the diamond level. And you don't have to, you don't need a huge organization to achieve that okay but if you if you use the skills that you develop in live good you can then go on to do low medium and high ticket affiliate marketing and other things you know low medium and high ticket network marketing and other things because the skill sets are the same and they can be transferred all right so just think about that i'm gonna leave you with that 
All I'm saying is that if you're in live good, do not quit ever, okay? Because you never know. You never know who you're going to get in your organization. And, you know, if you can't afford $10, um, or if you think that $10 is being wasted, then really take an introspective look and ask yourself, you know, are you really, are you really using, are you, are you developing your skills as an online business owner? And just think about what's happened to me and, and many other people who are promoting LiveGood who now go, crikey, you know, I, I started this with, didn't really have many expectations on LiveGood. I mean, personally, you know, I almost didn't get involved in it because I, I didn't want anything to do with network marketing. Um, because number one, I thought it was going to be expensive to join. And number two, I thought the, the products would be a ripoff as they normally are with, with network marketing, way overpriced. Um, and the opposite was true with LiveGood, and that's what got me in. Um, and, and now I'm looking at LiveGood thinking, crikey, this is something that is going to be around for a long time. Um, and personally, I'm going to be around, I'm going to be around LiveGood for as long as LiveGood's around. Okay, this is me. All right. Um, and it's, it's exciting when you see, when you see something start from zero, 23,000 people were involved in LiveGood when I first joined. 23,000. It's like, it's not even a full football stadium. It's like it's like a few people at the corner, all right. And now it's it's well over a well over a million, um, you know. And they're talking, you know, 10, 10 million, you know, in the next few years, which I can see is going to happen, okay, uh, because the people know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing, all right. So, anyway, if you've got any questions, drop me a comment below. I'm always um, open to anyone's questions or suggestions or anything else, uh, and I always answer those questions. And um, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, um, give it a like if you got some value from this, um, or otherwise, uh, I'm open to all sorts of uh, comments, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.